hi everyone this is hello angel of design today we are making this beautiful dress step-by-step -step tutorial with a round collar around the neckline and it's sleeveless less with a snap closure at the chest line and it, the dress has a belt it's a very beautiful dress to make and it's a step-by-step -step. and i'm going to show you how to adjust your pattern paper at the sizing so that when the child put it on it's easy for the child to wear thumbs up on our video to thumbs up is just to press that like button you're not paying anything but when you like the video youtube will keep pushing us out to those who really want to watch our video please watch the video until the end so that you don't miss anything out i keep saying this it is very very important to watch the video until the end i have also noticed that majority of you don't watch the video to the end once you watch it to a certain point and you run to the comment section you want to ask the question that question that you are about to ask i have already explained it on the video it will be more important for you to watch the video so that you understand everything and let's jump right to the tutorial you have to do you fold your fabric into two this is my back pattern paper so this is my 1.5 centimeter seam allowance so i fold it inside so you are not going to add seam allowance at the center back make sure you fold your seam allowance inside what you are going to do you are going to pin the back pattern on fold so this side is on fold this side is the raw edges you pin the back pattern paper on fold i have pinned the back pattern paper on fold and my pattern paper already includes seam allowance if your pattern paper did not include seam allowance make sure you add seam allowance on your fabric when you are cutting your fabric so because my pattern paper already includes seam allowance what i'm going to do from the waistline i'm going to add ease so that it's easy for the child to put on once we have done stitching for the size seam, I'm going to add 2 cm. If you're using inches, you can measure 0.75 inch. So this is my 2 cm is right here. Once you measure that 2 cm, you place your ruler at the armhole, you connect it down. Make sure your ruler is just at where your pattern paper ends, and then you connect it down to that 2 cm that you measure. This is my two centimeter from the armhole. I measure it down. The next thing that you have to do, you take your scissors, you go ahead and cut it out. Once you cut out your back fabric, also cut out your lining. When you are cutting out your lining, the same measurement that you add at the waistline, that's the same measurement that you are going to add on your lining when you are cutting them out. I have pinned my front pattern paper on my fabric. When you are pinning your front pattern paper on your fabric, make sure that it's not on fold. So my front pattern paper is not on fold, it's two pieces, so I'm cutting two pieces for the front. The next thing that you have to do once you pin that together, and you are going to also take two centimeter at the waistline, that will be your ease. That is not your seam allowance, that is your ease. So this is my two centimeter right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect from the armhole down to the waistline. I have connected down to the waistline. The next thing that you have to do for the center front, you are going to add seam allowance. So for the center front, I'm going to add one centimeter seam allowance. That one centimeter seam allowance is what you are going to use to stitch a placket at the front so you place your measuring tape you go ahead and add one centimeter seam allowance at the center front once you have done that you connect the mark together take your scissors and cut it all out once you have cut out your front top dress make sure to also cut out your lining the same way you cut out your front top dress the next thing that you have to do is to pin your collar if you don't know how to make a peter pan collar i'll put the link on the description box below so that you can go and watch the video on how to make a peter pan collar 
which I have showed on my video how to make a Peter Pan collar and I make a line dress with that Peter Pan collar. I would recommend that you should go and watch that video and know how to make your Peter Pan collar. So when you are pinning this Peter Pan collar on your fabric, make sure that at the back of your collar is going to be on fold. Or if you don't want to do it like that, when you make your Peter Pan collar, you put the back on fold and you have a full Peter Pan collar like this. But because of this tutorial, I'm going to fold it into two. So this is the back and this is the front of the collar. You are going to pin it on fold. The back has to be on fold. When you pin the back pattern paper on fold, you can either add seam allowance when you are cutting out your fabric or add seam allowance on your pattern paper when you make your pattern. My pattern paper already includes one centimeter seam allowance. So what I'm going to do, I will just pin it all around. Once I am done pinning, I will take my scissors and cut it out. I have cut out my fabric. I have cut out the May fabric, which is not the front is not on fold. The front you're cutting two pieces and the back is on fold. And this is the lining, which is two pieces. And this is the lining of the back is on fold. And I have also cut out my collar in the lining. I have cut out my skirt. I have shown many times on how to cut out your skirt. Take the total waistline of your top dress, times that by to the measurement that you get, that will be the width. The length of your skirt will determine how you want the dress to look above the knee, below the knee, that will totally depends on you. And when you are cutting out your lining, make sure that your lining is a little bit shorter than your male fabric. My lining is always 2.5 centimeters shorter than my male fabric or one inch shorter than my male fabric. And I also cut out my bed. This is how it is. I will tell you the width of my bed. The width of my bed is three centimeter. If you're using inches, measure 1.25 inch. And I will place my measuring tape again. I'm going to take the length of my bed. The length of my bed is 45.5 centimeter. If you're using inches, measure 18 inch. And you cut two pieces. And I've also cut out a piece of fabric right here. I have a lot right here. So this will be for my pleats around the collar. The collar of this dress has a pleat around. So what you are going to do when you are taking your measurements, make sure that your fabric is on fold. So this fabric is on fold. Place your measuring tape. You're going to take the measurement of two centimeter if you're using inches measure 0 0.75 inch so cut a piece a lot of piece of fabric so that you can be able to pleat them together and attach it on the collar if you have a long fabric it's good but if you don't have you can always join them together for me i am going to join all this together and then pleat it later on so this is how i cut out my fabric let's put the dress together First thing that you have to do, you open your back fabric. This is the front. Put the both shoulder seam together. You are going to stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, take it to your ironing board and press the seam apart. And you also take your lining, put the both shoulder seam together, stitch the shoulder seam with one centimeter seam allowance. Once you have done that, Take it to an ironing board and press the seam apart. The next thing that you have to do, you take your belt. So this is my belt. I am going to give it a straight stitch all the way down. When I come down to the end of the bed, I will stitch a diagonal way. And I will also repeat the same process with the second bed. Stitch it all the way down and stitch it a diagonal way. Once you have done that, you take your skirt. So this is my skirt. The front is on fold. So I will open it like this and I will take the back pieces. I'm going to put the both sides seam together in the center back. So you put them together like this 
you are going to stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric and you come down to this other side you repeat the same process stitch the side seam with one centimeter seam allowance depends on the seam allowance that you add on your fabric once you have done that you will also put the center back together you stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance once you have done stitching take it to your overlocker overlock the side seam raw edges overlock the center back raw edges I have stitched the shoulder seam of my top dress and I've also stitched my skirt. I overlock all the raw edges, both the side seam and the center back. I have also stitched my belt. When you are finished stitching, turn it inside out, take it to an ironing board and give it a good press. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to take a measurement at the waistline. So you take your measuring tape like this, you place it at the waistline. I'm going to take 1.3 centimeter or half an inch is right here and you also come down to this other side you measure down 1.3 centimeter or half an inch is right here once you have done that you take your belt this is how it is you pin it on the side seam of your dress making this 1.3 centimeter or half an inch that will be the seam allowance when we are joining the skirt together you take the second pieces you repeat the same process place it like this and take your pin and secure the belt on your top dress I have pinned it together the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine stitch it together and stitch the bed in place when you are stitching make sure that it's not up to your seam allowance once you have done that you take your fabric that you are going to pleat i have joined them together all around that is the pin i use it to secure everything together you are going to do you take it to your sewing machine you're just going to pleat the fabric randomly you just split it like this this is the leftover that i have already pleated before when i stitch my dress i'm going to use this one to show how you can stitch it on your collar so once you have pleat your fabric together you open your collar like this you are going to place it around the bottom edge of the collar so you pick it your plate fabric you start pinning it around the bottom edge of your collar like this you just go ahead and pleat it all around to the other side of the front collar so once you have done pleating your collar and you pin it around it what you are going to do you take it to your sewing machine you stitch it all around when you are stitching make sure it's not up to your seam allowance because we are going to place our lining on top of it and stitch it all over again once you have stitched that together you take the lining place it on top of it like this you pin it all around once you have done pinning then you can stitch your seam allowance my seam allowance is one centimeter i will place my lining on top of it stitch it all around once i am done stitching i will trim a little bit out from the seam allowance turn it inside out take it to my ironing board and give it a good press I have stitched my collar all around this is how it look you turn it inside out give it a good press this is how it look and this is the center back of the collar I place a pin right here and for the 
top dress you also place a pin so that you know that that is the center back the next thing you have to do before you pin your collar around the neckline of your dress what you are going to do you take your measuring tape from the center front measure inside one centimeter that is the one centimeter that we added when we were cutting our fabric you come down to this other side you repeat the same process place your measuring tape measure that one centimeter so this is my one centimeter i will take my collar and i will make sure that both center back are matched and i will secure that with a pin so what i'm going to do this is my one centimeter i'll place my collar like this make sure that it's not up to that one centimeter that i measure and i will pin it in place i will pin it all around to this other center back when i'm going to pin this other side i'll place my collar like this this is my one centimeter and i will secure that with a pin and i will pin from here to the other side of the center back i have pinned my collar around the neckline the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine when you are stitching make sure it's not up to your seam allowance once you have done that you take your lining place it on top of your may fabric you are going to pin around the neckline and the armhole once you have done pinning it all around take it to your sewing machine for the second time you stitch around the neckline stitch around the both armhole trim a little bit out from the neckline and the both armhole turn it inside out take it to your ironing board and give it a good press I have stitched the collar around the neckline of my dress and I've also stitched the both armhole and I turn it inside out give it a good press this is how it look it look very very beautiful right now the next thing that you have to do we are going to stitch the side seam of the top dress together you pick it like this both may fabric facing each other lining facing each other you stitch it with your seam allowance my seam allowance is one centimeter you come down to this side you pick your may fabric may fabric facing each other lining facing each other you stitch it with your seam allowance my seam allowance is one centimeter once you have done that take it to your ironing board and press the seam apart the next thing that you have to do is to take your skirt this is my may fabric skirt and this is my lining i have stitched a lace around my lining this is the front of my lining and this is the back of my may fabric so what i'm going to do i will open inside of my lining like this and i will pick my may skirt and i'm going to put it inside the lining so you pick it like this you put it inside this is the size seam of my main skirt this is the size seam of my lining both sides seam are facing each other you secure that with a pin you can see the way i put them together both this is the back of my lining this is the back of my main fabric the both back are facing each other and then you come down to this other side size seam of my main skirt size seam of my lining put them together and secure that with a pin once you have secured the both sides seam together the next thing that you have to do take it to your sewing machine you are going to put them together both lining and your main fabric together stitch a gather stitch thread around the waistline of your skirt i have stitched the both sides seam of my top dress this is how it look and i just put the lining and the main fabric together i stitch the center front and i top stitch the waistline when i stitch it is very very close to the waistline the next thing that you have to do you are going to cut a piece of fabric that we are going to attach at the center front 
So the measurement that I have here is about six centimeter. And I fold this side one centimeter. So what you are going to do, you, you turn your top dress, you open it like this. This is the lining side. You pick your fabric. You are going to pin it like this. Make sure that the front of your main fabric is facing the lining. You are going to pin it all the way down. I have pinned it together. This is how it looks. The next thing that I'm going to do, I will take it to my sewing machine. I will stitch it with one centimeter seam allowance. And I will also stitch this other side one centimeter seam allowance. Once I am done with that, I will trim a little bit out from the seam allowance. I have top stitch. This is how it is. When you are going to stitch the neckline, this is very important. You fold the one centimeter inside and then you turn it over like this so you fold it on top of each other like this and you just secure that with a pin you come down to this other side you repeat the same process this is my fabric this is my one centimeter that i folded inside you fold it on top of each other like this you're still folding it on the lining side once you fold it like that, you are going to secure that with a pin. Once you have done that, all you have to do, take it to your sewing machine. You are just stitching from here to this point. And then you come down to this other side, you repeat the same process. Make sure to separate your collar. You are going to start stitching from the neckline right here and you end on the other side. I have top stitch it together this is how it is and you can see that i've also trimmed a little bit out from the seam allowance when you are flipping it inside that you just fold the seam allowance inside and then you turn it over like this i will take my needle to push it out once you push it out the next thing that you have to do the one centimeter that you folded inside before you are going to use that one centimeter to cover the raw edges all you have to do is just to pin it all the way down i have pinned it all the way down the next thing that i'm going to do i will take it to my sewing machine and i will give it a top stitch all the way to the neckline and i will also repeat the same process with the second one give it a top stitch all the way down to the neckline once you have done that the next thing that you have to do you are going to Pull them together like this both plackets you pull them together for the waistline you give it a little stitch from here to here so that when we stitch our skirt we are going to pin it all around i have stitched the placket together this is how it is you can see how that is it's very very nice and i put them together so that i secure the stitches of the waistline together the next thing that we have to do we are going to stitch our skirt at the waistline of the top dress so what you are going to do i will pick my top dress make sure that both front fabric are facing each other i am going to put them inside like this I'll pick the side seam of my top dress and the side seam of my skirt. I will secure that with a pin. And I will come down to this other side. I will repeat the same process. The side seam of my skirt, the side seam of my top dress, and I will secure that with a pin. So what I'm going to do, I am going to gather the skirt around the waistline. Once I am done with that, I will take it to my sewing machine. I will stitch it with 1.3 centimeter or half an inch. Once I am done stitching, I will remove the gather stitch stretch, take it to my overlocker, overlock the raw edges or use zigzag to overlock the raw edges once i am done overlocking the raw edges i am going to top stitch around the waistline so you can see my other dress that i've already made you can see that i top stitch around the waistline to do that all you have to do you push the seam allowance towards the main bodies and you top stitch it all around so that is how i am going to stitch this together once i am done with that i'll show you the final look of this dress making I 
have stitched my skirt around the waistline of my dressmaking and I've also top stitched around the waistline. When you are top stitching around the waistline, what you are going to do, you start stitching from the end of the bed like this. This is where the bed ends. You start stitching from here and then you end on this other side. Make sure to always back stitch so that to secure the stitches. You continue from here and then you stitch it all the way around the back and then you end on this other side. Do not stitch across your bed because when you do, the bed will either be like this or on this other side. So you just stitch it all the way to this end and you back stitch. And this is how my dress look. I have also hemmed my dress all around. This is the final look of this dress. One to two years old dress. Beautiful dress to make step by step tutorial. Next thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to put my snap over there and that will be done. Thank you all so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.